Have you heard of edema? Or more specifically, weeping edema? It is connected with diabetes. Hi, I'm Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, and today I want to talk about edema, and especially weeping edema. Edema is swelling that is caused by the collection or excess fluid or blood in the tissues of your body. Usually it's due to inflammation or injury. So what is weeping edema? <laughs> that term is for constant fluid leakage somewhere in your body. Normally it's your feet, your arms, your ankles, your hands, your face, your eyes, and even your brain. Most common is our arms and legs. And that's where our connection comes with diabetes. Weeping edema can be a sign of all kinds of health issues though, like kidney damage, cirrhosis, congestive heart failure, weakness of um, the veins in your legs. Fluid leaks also from lim limb, <laughs> damage to your lymph system, high or low blood pressure, large wounds or skin issues, and head injuries or brain traumas, uh, tumors, and even some medications. So a mild causes would be like you're eating too much salt, so you're retaining fluid, or you're sitting too long or standing too long in one position. And for pregnant women, it's because you're pregnant. So that might cause you a mild case of edema. Medicine like insulin is one, can cause edema. And diseases, inflammation of anywhere, or allergic reaction, or a trauma somewhere in your body, an infection, low protein levels in your blood. Um, the protein albumin acts like a sponge in your blood to soak up fluids. If that's low, then you're not getting sucked up very well. <laughs> Congestive heart failure. Um, and that is when your heart fails to pump, the lower chamber of your heart fails to pump the way it's supposed to, to be effective. And lung conditions, pulmonary edema or emphysema. Kidney disease. Uh, when your kidneys fail to remove enough water and sodium from your body. That lymphedema, <laughs> again, again, damage to the lymph system. Liver disease creates acetes from cirrhosis. Vein problems where your veins can't carry enough blood to, like your feet, okay? Um, that's even true for varicose veins. That is a form of edema. Head trauma, you know, um, low blood, sodium, brain tumors, uh, fluid breakage, blockage, all kinds of things that can be contributing. But for diabetes, I'm going to get real specific, okay? A complication of diabetes is swelling in your lower legs. Diabetes expands our blood circulation, and it does it in a way that's not necessarily good. <laughs> our connection, several things that we as diabetics have concern with. Diabetic neuropathy, which is the nerve disorder of the nerves in your feet and your legs. They cause numbness, tingling. You can't feel them. Sometimes you can't feel any pain and they swell. Or diabetic retinopathy, which is mac macular edema, which is swelling in your eye. In areas of your eyes, you have huge swelling, which can lead to vision loss or even blindness. Um, that's leaking capillaries in your eyes. They are leaking in there. Gestational diabetes, that's for someone who's pregnant. They have diabetes during the pregnancy and then the child is born and it's gone away. Okay, but they have severe leg swelling sometimes with that. By the way, anyone who's had gestational diabetes is definitely more at risk to develop type 2 diabetes. Cardiovascular disease, foot and leg edema. 75% of adult 
diabetics have high blood pressure and that high blood pressure makes them two to four times more likely to die of a cardiovascular problem. I hate this word, lymphedema <laughs> risk. That's a doubled lymph problems are doubled for diabetics. Your diabetic medications, I mentioned insulin. There's also thiazolidinediones, best I could do. Those medicines could also cause pulmonary edema, fluid in your lungs. Um, your low immunity, uh, your uh, openness to infection, all of that are connections to diabetes. Symptoms, again, it's usually your arms or legs, but can be your ankles, your hand, your feet, your face, and even your brain. Edema from uh, infection or inflammation, there's that inflammation again, may not have symptoms that you notice right away. Uh, same thing with an allergic reaction. You may not right away have symptoms, um, but you may get leg heaviness. Your legs just feel way heavy. Lung issues. Weight gain. That's a, that is a symptom, um, especially in your extremities and your legs. Your leg could weigh 10 pounds more than it usually does. And I'm sure you've seen someone who has one leg that's a lot larger than the other. They're probably suffering from weeping edema. Um, even both legs gotten huge could be a part of that. Complications from weeping edema, edema, edema <laughs> reduced blood circulation, scarring of the tissues in your body's risk of infection. Um, your skin gets stretched super tight. It will become itchy and troublesome. Uh, you lose the elasticity in your veins, in your arteries, in your muscles, and in your joints. None of this sounds good. The prevention for that, there's not much, okay? The things we already know, guys, don't smoke, manage your diabetes, do what you're supposed to do, eat correctly, take your medication if you have it, um, limit your alcohol intake, and move, move. You need motion. Treatment for edema. There is medications that doctors can give you. If you have a wound, there's specific wound care to help with that. And there are surgeries, but we don't wanna go there. I wanna give you six things you can do, you can do right now to help take care of edema if you're having it, especially mild edema. First of all, eat a healthy, low salt diet. Get rid of some of the salt because that's part of your problem probably. This one's cool. Drink dandelion tea. <laughs> dandelion tea is a natural diuretic that will help rid you of that extra fluid. Exercise, move. I'm not talking go to the gym. I'm saying get up, move around, you know, seven or eight times a day at least so that your body is somewhat in motion. That's the minimum. But if you have to do the minimum, do the minimum, right? Uh, the more exercise you get, the better off you are. Massage therapy, a gentle massage, especially on, like on your feet, can relieve edema in your legs. Um, elevate whatever part of your body is suffering with edema. Elevate it. Um, weeping edema tends to strike mainly our legs. So lift your feet up. Pop them up on some pillows several times a day as often as you can, and that will help. And last, essential oils. Interesting, yeah? Uh, fennel oil, grapefruit oil, they are both natural diuretics, okay? So what you do is you mix three or four drops of that essential oil in with an oil carrier like coconut oil, a teaspoon of that, mix that together, and then massage it into the area that you're having trouble with. Um, I do caution you, buy good essential oils. If it's at the dollar store, it's not going to do the trick, okay? You need to, to have good oil to make it effective. That was a lot, huh? 
um, as a dynamic diabetic, my goal is to always give you knowledge because knowledge is power. I say it all the time. It, we need all the power we can get as diabetics. You need to know as much as you can know about things that may develop with you so that you know what to do about it when it starts to happen. So for edema, if you start having swelling in areas that just doesn't go down, that it just seems to hang on, think about edema and in your legs weeping edema and what you can do to help yourself before it gets out of control. Thank you so much for um, being here. And I hope that you learned something that you can carry with you. I hope you'll share the video with other diabetics that you know or people who care about diabetics so that they will have this power as well. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel. Notice that I have a Diabetic Minute weekdays, every weekday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time always with some information on getting and staying healthy. Again, Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, thank you again for being here. May God bless and keep you till we connect again. Bye-bye.